Dear viewers, let's start accounting lesson number 6, Sales Journal. This lesson will include number 1, definition of sales journal, number 2, sales invoice, number 3, format of sale invoice, number 4, sale invoice versus purchase invoice, number 5, format of sales journal, number 6, posting entries from sales journal to subsidiary ledgers and journal ledgers, number 7, sales journal including sales tax payable, and number 8, sales return and allowances account. Definition of sales journal The sales journal, sales book, or sales day book is a special journal that is used to record all credit sales. Every transaction that is entered in sales journal results in a debit to account receivable account and a credit to sales account. All cash sales are recorded in another special journal known as cash receipts journal. Only the goods, merchandise, stock, inventory a business normally deals in are recorded in sales journal. The sales of assets such as old plant, machinery, equipment and vehicle etc. are not recorded in sales journal. These transactions are entered in general journal. Sales invoice when seller or supplier sells goods, merchandise or inventory or stock on credit, he prepares an invoice known as sales invoice. This invoice is sent to the customer along with the merchandise. Seller also prepares a duplicate copy of sales invoice. This duplicate copy is kept by the seller with him because the entry in the sales journal is made on the basis of this sales invoice. Sales invoice format. It includes invoice number, date of invoice, due payment date, and terms of the sales as shown in the example, for example, 210N30. Then company title, name, address, contact detail, bank account number, etc. Then contact information of the customer. Columns usually included are quantity, description of goods, per item rate, amount, total amount, and remarks as shown in this example. Sale invoice versus purchase invoice. Sale invoice and purchase invoice are two different names of the same document. It is always prepared by the seller and is called sales invoice in the record of the seller and purchase invoice in the record of the buyer. The seller uses it to record a sales transaction in the sales journal and the buyer uses it to record a purchase transaction in the purchase journal. Explanations of columns Number 1. Date This column is used to record the date of which the sale is made. Normally, it is the same date as written on the invoice. Number 2. Account debited. This column is used to enter the name of customers whose individual accounts are maintained in accounts receivable subsidy ledgers. Number 3. Invoice number. The sales invoice number is written in this column. Number 4. Post reference or PR. The entries in sales journal are posted on daily basis to relevant accounts in accounts receivable subsidy ledgers. The post reference is used to enter account numbers of individual accounts in the account receivable subsidy ledgers in which the entries are posted. Number 5. Account receivable and sales. In this column, the net amount receivable from customer is written. In the general ledger, the accounts receivable account is debited and sales account is credited by the total of this column. Number 6. Cost of goods sold and inventory. In this column, the cost price of the merchandise sold is entered. In general ledger, the cost of goods sold account is debited and inventory account credited. Posting entries from sales journal to subsidiary ledgers and general ledgers. The entries in sales journal must be posted from sales journal to individual accounts in accounts receivable subsidiary ledgers and general ledgers. The posting procedure is briefly explained below. Number 1. At the end of each day or immediately after the transaction occurs, the individual entries are debited to appropriate accounts in account receivable subsidiary ledgers. Number 2. At the end of each month or another appropriate period, the column totals of sales journal are posted to relevant general ledger accounts as follows. A. The total of account receivable and sales column is debited to account receivable account and credited to sales account in the general ledger. B. The total of cost of goods sold and inventory column is debited to cost of goods sold account and credited to inventory account in the general ledger. Number C. To indicate that the posting has been made to general ledger accounts, the account numbers of general ledger accounts are written in post reference PR columns in front of the totals of the relevant columns of sales journal. Sales journal including sales tax payable. This sales journal shows that the seller is collecting a sales tax at the rate 10% on all goods sold to customers. The posting of this sales journal will be similar to the posting explained simple sales journal example. A sales tax payable account would be opened in the general ledger and the total of sales tax payable column of sales journal would be credited to that account at the end of each month or another appropriate period. Sales return and allowances account. In normal course of business, when customers receive damaged, defective, low quality or otherwise undesirable goods, they may return them to the seller or may have the option to retain them at a reduced price. Sales returns occur when a customer does not accept such goods and return them to the seller for a full refund or credit. And sales allowance occurs when a customer chooses to accept them but at a reduced price. In a company's general ledger, the sales return and the sales allowance are recorded in a single account known as sales return and allowances account. Next guide on accounting will be lesson number 7, Ledgers. So keep on connected and don't forget to subscribe our channel.